Okay, in this recording I'm going to show you how to enable and use the recording feature in Phone Burner. To enable it, we're going to go to Dial Sessions, Phone Burner Settings, and we're going to click on the Call Recording link. On this page you're going to see a brief description of the call recording and the button to agree to terms and activate the call recording. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now we've got the call recording enabled, let's talk about how to use it. With the call recording feature enabled, at the start of every dial session, you'll see an option to enable call recording. It's a drop-down menu with a yes-no option. Yes is selected by default, so you don't have to select it each time. And that will allow you to record each of your dial sessions. When you're on a live call, you're going to see an option to stop recording. Now you can stop recording at any time during a conversation. Now I do want to point out, if you hit stop recording, it will stop recording immediately and will not pick up again until you connect with your next contact. Now that we have recorded a dial session, let's talk about how to review those recordings. You can review a recording by going to the Dial Sessions tab and viewing your recent dial sessions. If you want to review a dial session that's not one of your recent dial sessions, you can click on the View All Dial Sessions and that will take you to a list of all of your dial sessions in the last 30 days. To review the recordings from a dial session, you just need to click on the details for that dial session. And on the details page, you're going to see the normal details screen that shows you a list of all of the contacts that you called. And on the right hand side, you're going to see the recordings column. The recordings column will let you preview or listen to any live connections that you had during that dial session. You can also download individual MP3 files of each recording or delete individual recordings. Another option is to export your dial session details. You'll see an option to export to Zipped, which will include the recording. So if you select that and export dial session, you'll get a zip file that contains the, the CSV file that has all of the dial session details, as well as a recording of all of the live connections you had during that dial session. In addition to being able to review the recordings from the dial session summary, you can also review the recordings from within individual contacts. So if we click on this particular contact's name and go to their contact details, you'll see a call recordings tab. That call recordings tab, if you click on that, will show you a list of all of the recordings that have been done for that contact in the last 30 days. You can then preview that, and you can also jump back to the dial session, the specific session that that was recorded in. And here we are back at that main dial session. I do want to point out that the system will only keep recordings for 30 days. So if you need to have your recordings archived for more than 30 days, you'll definitely want to use the option to export the recordings to a zip file. Now for those of you with multi-seat accounts or enterprise accounts, there are some additional tools that you have for reviewing recordings. So let's talk about that. If we click on the Seats tab as an admin, you'll see a list of all of your seats within your account. When you're editing or setting up a new seat, you'll have the option to enable call recording, as well as the option to allow or not allow individual members to delete those recordings. So if you want to ensure that they can't delete those recordings, you have that option. Now once you enable call recording for an account, you can review those recordings through the Reports and Analytics section. So if we click on Reports and Analytics, and then we run a report for a specific time frame that we're looking for, we'll see a list of all of our users and the total number of dial sessions they've done. Now if we click on the dial sessions number, That'll show us a list of all of their dial sessions, and to review the recordings, we would click on the details. Now, I do want to point out one thing. This particular account, I had disabled the recording option on this dial session here on May 15th. So I click on details, you'll see that there are no recordings during this time, because at this time, the admin account had disabled the recording option for this particular user. Now, if we look on the May 18th details, You'll see the details of all of the contacts from that dial session, and in the recording column you'll see the option to preview the recordings, download individual recordings, as well as delete individual recordings. Also as an admin you have the option to export an entire dial session, including the recordings, into a zip file so you can archive it on your own. Once again as a reminder, Phone Burner will only archive or keep the recordings for 30 days. So if you need to have those recordings archived for longer than 30 days, make sure you go and export all of the dial sessions for your users. And that is a quick tour of our recording feature within Phone Burner. I hope that helps, and happy dialing.